Honey, you're gonna cause mayhem. Hello, motherfuckers. Hello, motherfuckers. Welcome to the Rosa Satan, where we turn fire and brimstone into our pillows and floor mattresses. A mystical palace where garden gnomes, elves, and fairies no longer exist. A hell that Richard Dawkins doesn't believe in. Tonight we gather to show our respects for the Prince of Darkness, the father of all lies, or just the devil himself. The ghoul responsible for humanity being doused in the spirit of evil. May your eternity and fire go up in flames just like that person Caitlyn Jenner killed in that car accident no one wants to talk about. When I think of the Prince of Hell, I just think of Caitlyn Jenner. Don't ask me why, but I do. I've always wanted to ask you, Satan. Why are there transvestites? I digress. The devil. Tonight, as we honor the devil, let's acknowledge that even he couldn't escape the eternal damnation of questionable fashion choices. I mean, pitchforks and horns? Is that the best you can come up with, Satan? I've seen scarier Halloween costumes at a preschool carnival. And your fiery realm? <clears throat> More like a tacky Airbnb for lost souls. But hey, Satan... Let's credit Satan where it's due. You've got a talent for making people question their life choices. I mean, who wouldn't rethink their decisions when faced with an eternity of karaoke with Nickelback and a constant loop of TikTok dances from the early 2000s? It's like a punishment on a cosmic level. As we reflect on your devilish deeds, Satan, let's not forget your failed attempts at world domination. If only you had spent more time in business school and less time plotting, maybe you wouldn't be the laughingstock of the underworld. It's almost impressive how consistently unsuccessful you've been. So here's to you, Satan, the ultimate underachiever, the overrated architect of misery, and the inspiration for every bad decision ever made. May your horns stay crooked and your pitchfork forever dull. Speaking of horns, let's address the elephant in the room. Or should I say the demon with oversized antlers? I've seen scarier creatures in a petting suit. Your attempt to strike fear in the hearts of mortals is as laughable as your failed rock band attempts in the 80s. Did anyone actually buy your album, Hell's Harmonies? And Satan, your recruitment strategy for hell is seriously flawed. I've seen more enthusiasm at a DMV on a Monday morning. Maybe it's time for a rebrand. Heck, the slightly inconvenient afterlife. It's got a nice ring to it, don't you think? As we delve into the depths of your shortcomings, Satan, let's not forget your fashion-forward followers. The gods, they might think the rebels, but in the grand scheme of rebellion, wearing all black and eyeliner doesn't quite cut it. You must be disappointed in the lack of creativity. Satan, you may be the ruler of the underworld, but let's face it, you're more of a middle manager in the grand scheme of cosmic chaos. May your eternal reign continue to be as lackluster as your attempts at world domination. Satan, let's talk about your side hustle as the Prince of Lies. Your resume boasts a long list of deceptions, but I have to say... Your most impressive feat is convincing people that pineapple belongs on pizza. I mean, that's a level of evil genius even Lex Luthor would not would envy. And your pitchfork-wielding minions, do they even come with an employee handbook on how to poke souls with causing unnecessary eternal suffering? It seems like there might be a train... There might be a training program lacking in the depths of hell. Maybe invest in some HR courses. It could, it could do wonders for work workplace morale. As we navigate through your realm of eternal torment, Satan, it's hard, it's hard to notice the lack of Wi-Fi and streaming services. A bit outdated, don't you think? I mean, if you're going to torment people for eternity, at least give them the option to binge watch your favorite TV shows or scroll through memes. It's the least you can do. Satan, your taste in interior design is questionable. If that's lava lakes and brimstone might, be, might have been edgy a few millennia ago, but nowadays it's more dated haunted house than realm of eternal despair. Maybe consider a renovation. Add some cozy corners, perhaps a Starbucks, Frappuccino's. And see, see if you can appeal to a more modern clientele. You say, your legacy may be etched in the scorched walls of hell, but it's time to spice things up a little. A rebranding, some modernization, and who knows, maybe you'll attract a different demographic. The roast of Satan, where even the devil himself can escape a reality check. And let's not forget your failed attempts at love, Satan. Rumor has it even Tinder rejected your profile, citing too much baggage in a bio that read, looking for a partner to share eternal misery, might enjoy... Must enjoy long walks on hot coals. Maybe consider a dating coach instead of orchestrating failed romances in the underworld. Satan, your fiery demeanor might be iconic, but have you ever considered therapy? I hear even the Prince of Darkness could use a little soul searching. Perhaps un uncover the root cause of your incessant need for chaos and destruction. Spoiler alert, it might not be everybody else's fault. As we navigate the depths of your eternal abode, Satan, let's address the elephant in the room. Your penchant for bad puns, hell is where the heart is, and I'm hellbent on on world domination. It might have been funny the first uh, million times, but it's time to retire the cheesy one-liners. Comedy Central, you're not. And Satan, your choice of minions, demons and imps, it's like you raided the uh, reject aisle of supernatural creatures. Ever considered upgrading to something a bit more menacing? Perhaps werewolves or vampires? At least they come with a certain level of mystique. In conclusion, Satan, it's time for your devilish 
makeover, revamp your dating profile, schedule a therapy session, and maybe invest in a joke writer, the roast of Satan, where even the ruler of the underworld can't escape the clutches of self-improvement. Follow me on idol, you go repel a shit brain on my rifle And I woke up to the march of a drill I buried bullet, my shield broken The ammo bag still clues, I can't repent it on my handle What's the toll for dying? Let the leg cast me free, bring my spirit back up The equities 